first of all, congratulations, season three, yes. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yes. I, I can't imagine how exciting that must be because I feel like no matter how many times you get picked up, you can never really know that next season's happening. Oh no, I've been in the business long enough to know that things that were told to me that were sure, a sure thing that didn't work. Um, and even though we were all optimistic and cautiously optimistic and hope, certainly hopeful uh, for, to get picked up this early and just to be picked up in general, it was just, it's just beyond words. I, I, you cannot count your chickens before they hatch in Hollywood, that's no. for sure. No, that's right. No, no, no. Like I say, I've, too often I've had things that were definite that didn't happen. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're to expect for season three? Do we have anything you can give us? You know, we don't know week to week. What to really? I, I think Andy probably does because he's one of the producers. Yeah. Um, but the rest of us go to the read-throughs every week to, and get a new script. And uh, as my colleague Joel McKay and McKinnon Miller said, they're like gifts. We don't know what we're going to get, and it's like, oh, look at this! Oh, this is great! You That's know, so exciting. it is exciting. Oh it keeps it really fresh, keeps it alive, and they just keep giving us. The writers on this show are just so great, and they give keep giving us really wonderful stuff to do and. Funny stuff. It must be exciting for you too when he comes home with the stories like today I'm doing this and, and he's having such a great time. Yeah. And it's so fun. The whole, everyone's so nice. So, yeah. And what are you most looking forward to tonight? I know obviously we have so many nominations. Is there anything that you're like, oh my gosh, I hope this wins or Well, I I, I would say I mean I, I like everything that's pretty much everything across the board that's nominated is really terrific work. Um, I did a play with Mark Ruffalo 30 years ago, or roughly, or 20-something years ago, whatever it was, when he was a very young man, hadn't done much, and uh, and I loved him to death. So to see what he's done with his career uh, last year with the uh, HBO show and now with the Foxcatcher, so there's a part of me that's pulling for Mark. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great time tonight.